to the encouraging word of today. Today is Thursday, April the 15th, and we're going to pick up here in the wonderful, encouraging word of God once again. And as we were uh, informed yesterday that the eyewitnesses, the apostles of the Lord Jesus Christ had seen the resurrected Lord Jesus, they heard the voice from heaven, and then we have this whole thing we call the Bible that has God's written word in it that we might be able to know the truth and the certainty of this one who lived and died and rose again for us, that we might be able to become all that is written on these pages that God desires for our lives. But we must be careful. We must be careful because even though we have the account of the eyewitnesses, we have their testimony and we have the entire complete word of God, there are men, there are men who take these things of of the, the, the scriptures, and they turn them into religious traditions or truths that aren't truths at all. They're falsehood. They're lies. They're leading men away from the heart and mind of God rather than to the heart and mind of God. They're, they're preaching and teaching to satisfy the things of the flesh rather than living for the glory of God and suffering. And so he says in chapter 2, picking up in verse 1, he says, you've got the sure word of prophecy. Listen, these holy men spake as, as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. That's the only ones you want to listen to, those who will repeat and teach the word of God, because he says, but there were false prophets also amongst the people. So there's also false prophets, people who are proclaiming uh, a false truth. They're leading people astray. They're leading people right to the pit. And so he says, even as there shall be false teachers amongst you. And so he says, there was false teachers in this day, and there will be false teachers in your day. doesn't matter on what day and what generation you live on the face of the planet. There are going to be men who are going to lead you astray. So be careful and listen to what they say. If it's speaking about feeding the flesh, then they're lying to you. If it's speaking about feeding the spirit, then they're prophesying the truth unto you. And it's only those men who will do those because notice what he says here. He says, even so there shall be false teachers amongst you who privately shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them and bring, and bring upon them swift destruction. And so he says, they're going to even deny the Lord Jesus Christ, the one who died and rose again. They're going to cut him out of their preaching. It'll be a preaching of morality rather than a preaching of dying and living in Christ Jesus. It'll how be how to be a, a better husband, a better wife, a better a better employee, a better church member, a better a better a better a better. But you can't be good enough. You have to die and live in Christ Jesus. That's the only way. And so while they wouldn't deny Jesus lived and died, they're not going to prophesy or preach unto you to live to Christ, not to yourself. This is not about your dreams and your wishes and your wants coming true. This is about becoming, from going from dead to life, from, from, from hell to heaven. And this is the eternity in which these men will leave out. And notice what it says here in verse 2. And many shall follow their pernicious ways. And many, because we love the preaching to the flesh. We love the things that appeal to our flesh. And God says, no, you've been born again, and you can't feed that flesh anymore. You must give up, and you must put on the things of the world. Because notice what he says in verse 4. He says, whereby are given exceedingly great and precious promises, that by these you might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. And so you've got to come out of that and come into Christ. But many men will teach, no, you go and you get all that you can have. That's what God wants for you. Get all that you can get. And at the end of the day, he'll say, what well, does it profit a man if he gets all that he can get? If he gained the whole world, yet lose his own soul. And yet that's what many are preaching today, that God loves us no matter what. And, uh, and, that, and that he'll, and he, he'll just allow you to continue to live your life however you want to live it. And that's a lie from the pit of hell. Jesus does love us no matter what. But he says, I love you no matter what. And if you'll come to me, I'll forgive you. But you must stop living in that lascivious, lustful, fleshly life. And you must turn from your sin. You must repent and believe the gospel. You must be baptized. And you must walk this life that Christ has called 
Jesus said, go ye therefore and make disciples. Baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And teach them to observe or to obey all the things which I've commanded. Not just to read it and listen, but to obey those things in which he's commanded. And so he says he's writing these things. He says, but there's many who will follow their pernicious ways by this. By reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. You know, when you come to this narrow path, oh, they'll speak evil of you. They'll speak evil of you. And then he says, and through covetousness shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you, whose judgment of now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. Judgment's coming. Judgment's coming. Not only upon the false prophets, but also upon the false professors of Christ. Judgment's coming. And you better, as he says in... Um, this uh, first, first chapter of Second Peter, wherefore rather give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, now it's not a works-based salvation, but if Christ lives in you, these automatically come out of you. And so if you're not seeing these things coming out of your life, the things in which he's mentioned, knowledge and temperance and patience and godliness and, and brotherly kindness and love, then, then you're lying to yourself and believing that God, the God of heaven and earth lives in you because this is who God is. And he says there's going to come men who will teach and preach to you the opposite of these things. And they won't lead you to holiness. They'll lead you to self-satisfaction. And their damnation is coming. But so will ours because many will follow their pernicious ways if we don't turn. So I pray today you go forth mightily in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And you follow hard after him. You give yourself and do due diligence to make sure your election and calling is sure. And that you're producing these things out of your lives. And you're not following those false prophets. So go forth today mightily and be in courage.